Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I made this planter just about three years ago, almost to the day, and I just finished cleaning it up, giving it a good sanding, getting it ready for paint. But before I paint it, I'm gonna bring it back in the shop and dress it up a little bit with some molding. I'll add two styles to the front, creating three equal panels, and then I'll dress those panels up with a little tapered molding, and I'm going to add a little bead molding at the bottom that will dead end into the leg. I do have plans for this project on my website. I'll have a link in the description below. And if you don't have a lathe, you could build this same design with a tapered leg and I think it would look great. I'm making the dividers out of cedar and I'll start by cross cutting the board to length and then rip two pieces at an inch and three quarters. After doing a little math, I divided the one panel into three equal panels. I'm attaching the panel dividers, also known as styles, with inch and a half nails and an adhesive caulk. Here I remove one of the styles from the correct position to add the adhesive caulk. When I place it back, I place it in the wrong position. That's a big mistake, but I don't realize it yet, so let's fast forward a bit. I just made a really costly mistake when I was measuring out, I put a little pencil mark on the rails. And when I attached this style, I attached it to the left of the pencil mark instead of attaching it to the right of the pencil mark where I should have. So not only do I have to pull this off, but all the molding I won't be able to use now either. And I'm going to have to set up to make more molding because I only made enough molding to trim the front and two side panels. So definitely one of those things that is a little frustrating about woodworking. So now I'm going to pop this off and uh, almost start from scratch. Now I can attach the style in the correct position and get back to trimming the flat panels. The tapered molding I'm using to trim out the flat panels is very easy to make and I posted a detailed video about it last week. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. I'll often get the question of why two miter saws. Well, you can see that this one is set up with a sacrificial fence. And what I like to do is make the first cut with a sacrificial fence. You want to make sure that you don't cut all the way through the fence. Then I can bring the molding over to the workpiece, get my measurement and mark it. I've already got a line on my fence. So I know that if the mark is here, that should be just about right. But you can see how I would line that mark up with the fence. Notice the molding is upside down now and I'm keeping the back of the molding up tight against the fence and there's a space underneath. This is my point of reference. In other words, I flipped the molding and kept the saw at the same 45 degree angle. If you want to know more about a sacrificial fence and a few tips on how to get perfectly tight miters, I'll have a link to my video in the description below.
To make the bead molding, I'll rip a piece of cedar at 2 and 3 eighths. Then I'll resaw the board at 3 eighths. Since I only need to make a small piece of molding and it doesn't have to be perfect, I'll create the bead using a hand plane. For the finish, I'm using a high gloss black enamel paint and I'm going to let this paint dry for a few days before we plant it. So if you want to see what the planter looks like after it's been planted, check back on Instagram. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description below for my professional woodworking plans and follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on today.